I think a lot of us are taking extra precautions and cleaning as much as we can, especially with everything going on. Here to give us his tips on how to best disinfect our tech devices, we have technology expert Burton Kelso. Welcome to the show, Burton. We are so anxious to hear what you have to say about our tech devices. <laughs> Thank you, Aubrey. I will try not to scare you as far as what you need to do to make sure your smartphone's clean. <laughs> I was thinking about that as I was looking over our questions. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We wash our hands, we wipe down surfaces, and we're even cleaning our groceries and packages as we bring them into our homes to protect ourselves from COVID-19. Do you think people are including their phones and other tech items in their cleaning lists? Uh, we know phones and other things like key fobs, they're going with us everywhere, always pretty much in hand. Right, yeah, the challenge with smartphones is that there are some of the dirtiest items that most humans own. Uh, they, they say the average smartphone has more germs than the public restroom. So I don't think people think about their smart devices. We wash our hands, but it doesn't do you any good to put clean hands on a dirty device. Well, this is the age of thousand dollar smartphones. I mean, we're paying a lot for these devices, so you've got to be careful on how you clean them. You probably just can't throw anything on them. Um, tell us about some of the ways we can do that safely and what are the tech cleaning no-nos? Well, the first tech cleaning no-no is none of this stuff on any of your electronic devices. You don't want to use bleach at all. And the other thing you don't want to use either are these disinfectant wipes because they'll do a good job of cleaning your device, but they don't necessarily do a good job of disinfecting your devices. Now, one of the things that you can use to order to clean your smartphone is this handy product called Pure and Clean. Now, Pure and Clean, you can get at pureandclean.us, is an eco-friendly cleaning product that you can use, safely use on your smartphones and devices. Now, if you wanna make your own home remedy, you can use some isopropyl alcohol, which has to have at least 70% of the solution along with uh, bottled water, and you can safely clean your smart devices. Now, when you're using a cleaning solution, the most important thing to remember is to let that cleaning solution sit on your device for no less than five minutes because that is the time that it really takes to really disinfect those smart devices. Because most people will wipe them clean, but you really need to let that cleaning solution sit in order to kill the germs on your phone or your tablet. Burn, I wanted to ask you about that bleach real quick. So is it because it affects like touch screens or is it just too strong for the tech devices? Bleach is too strong. It's a very harsh chemical. Uh, obviously, if you leave bleach on your skin, you can get burns. And it's kind of the same effect on your smartphone. It can ruin your touch screen. It can also ruin the screen on your smart TVs and on your tablets and computers as well. All right, good to know. Do not use anything with bleach on these products. Okay, and we talk about high tech and low tech. There's two different ways we can clean also, right? Right, there is. You can also uh, make sure that your smart devices are clean by using a high-tech solution like phone soap, if you can still get it. Now, phone soap uses uh, UV rays in order to zap the uh, germs off of your phone. What you do is you open up phone soap. You can put your smartphone in phone soap and close it. And within about 10 minutes, the UV radiation inside your smartphone oh. will um, kill the germs and make sure that it's nice and clean for you to utilize. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so many of us probably think of our phone covers as a way to keep them from breaking if we drop them, but are they an effective way for us to keep those smartphones clean too? Right, yeah. Now, so if you get a smartphone cover from Tech 21, you need to make sure that you get a cover that has an antimicrobial cover so that it'll, that way it'll reduce the germs that are on your case. So the Tech 21 case will do a good job of making sure that if you drop your phone, it won't break. But at the same time, the Tech 21 uh, antimicrobial case will make sure that it reduces the amount of microbes on your case, therefore keeping your phone safe and safe from germs and COVID-19. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know about that extra layer of protection you can get from those cases. What about kids? I have kids and they play video games and they're on their devices a lot. Um, probably a right. close second behind phones in touch of some of the heavily touched items. Any special tips for gamer gear or what about electronic toys? Well, one of the most important things you need to remember when you're cleaning any smart device, it doesn't matter if it's a phone, a tablet, or even your portable gaming system, you wanna use a microfiber cloth in order to clean those devices and make sure that you're using the same steps as far as disinfecting. Spray your solution on your device and make sure that it sits for at least five minutes to properly disinfect that. If you spray and wipe, it doesn't kill anything, but if you spray 
the solution, whether it's pure and clean or your or your alcohol water solution, it's got to sit for about five minutes in order to properly disinfect it. All right, Burton, thank you so much. Great information. I'm going to be cleaning off my phone and the tech devices at home today um, per your guidelines. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.